Hello, dear students. You all are welcome to the class of cost accounting. Our topic is differential cost analysis. Today we will solve a problem in differential cost analysis. So let's see the problem first. So this is the question. Assuming that the rated capacity or the maximum capacity of the factory it is fifty thousand units, then what should be the most profitable level of output? Use differential cost analysis. So this is the maximum capacity, fifty thousand units. So they are given three alternatives here, three levels of output the company can produces, and the cost or expenses of expenses at different levels also given. So we need to find uh, which level gives maximum benefit to the company or maximum profit to the company by using differential cost analysis. This is the first case, twenty five thousand level. In such a situation, fixed cost will be twenty five thousand, variable cost per unit to two, and sales revenue per unit to four. Then, if the level of output it is forty thousand units, fixed cost will be increased by ten thousand, so it is total thirty five thousand. Variable cost per unit the same as the above, that it is two. Then sales revenue three point five. Then. Output up to fifty thousand units. If the company uses its uh, entire capacity, the maximum capacity of fifty thousand units, if they produce in the maximum unit, its fixed cost it will become forty thousand. Variable cost per unit it is one point nine. Then sales revenue three point two. So let us check which level is most profitable level to the company. So we need to find it by using differential cost analysis. So let us check how to do it. This is the question. So let us take the first level. In case of first level, the total output to be produced it is twenty five thousand. Twenty five thousand. If you are producing twenty five thousand unit, we can sell it at four rupees per unit. The selling price it is four. So the total sales will become our total revenue. It is one lakh rupees. The variable cost it is given here it is two rupees so twenty five thousand unit we are producing twenty five thousand into two it is fifty thousand then fixed cost it is given the total itself twenty five thousand so it is taken twenty five thousand so the total cost it is variable cost plus fixed cost so fifty plus twenty five it is seventy five thousand so this is the existing uh, or present situation or the first level of our level. Then, if the company switches to producing more fifteen thousand more units, or the second level of output, if the company producing forty thousand units, let us check what will happens. The forty thousand units, then the selling price will become three point five. So selling price per unit. So so the total sales will be or sales revenue forty thousand unit into three point five. It is one lakh forty thousand. The variable cost it is same rupees per unit it is two so so the total variable cost will be forty thousand into two it is eighty thousand then fixed cost it is given here thirty five thousand so the total cost eighty thousand plus thirty five thousand it is one lakh fifteen thousand so the differential revenue it is here differential revenue we know incremental or decremental revenue or sales value from the first level. To the second level, in the first level of output, our total sales it is one lakh rupees. It is here total sales. So sales revenue it is one lakh. When we are switching over to the second level, our total sales revenue became or becomes one lakh forty thousand. So there is an increase of forty thousand or incremental revenue it is forty thousand. Then let us take uh, let's take uh, what will happens to the cost. The total cost in the first case it is seventy five thousand. When we are producing twenty five thousand, our total cost would be seventy five thousand. If the company produces forty thousand units, the total cost will be one lakh fifteen thousand. So from the first level to the second level, there is an increase of forty thousand rupees of cost itself. There is an incremental cost of rupees forty thousand. 
so let us check here it is both incremental revenue and incremental cost it is both of 40000 so no additional profit will be added to the existing profit no additional income if you are producing 15000 units more from 25000 our cost will be increased by 40000 and revenue also will be increased by 40000 so cost is equal to revenue so there will be no more profit then when we are selecting the third one 50000 units if the company produces 50000 units the selling price will be 3.2 3.2 per unit so total call, total sales will be 50000 into 3.2 it is 160000 so sales it is then variable cost 95000 so per unit variable cost 1.9 so 50000 into 1.9 it is 95000 fixed cost it is already given here 40000 so total cost 95000 plus 40000 135000 so then we need to find the differential revenue and the differential cost sales from the total uh, from the 40,000 level, it is sales, sales it is 140,000. So, if we, if the company produces 50,000 units at the level of 50,000, the sales revenue will be increased to 160,000. That means an increase of 20,000. 140,000 plus 20,000, it will be 160. So, incremental revenue it is 20,000. Then, we'll check the what will happen to the cost. In the above stage, in the 40,000 level, the total cost it is 1,15,000. 1,15,000. In the 50,000 level, it is 1,35,000. 1,35,000. So you can see a, an, incre an increase in the cost by rupees 20,000. 1,15 plus 20. So 1,35,000. So the increased amount of cost it is 20,000. So the picture is clear here. If the company produces 25,000 units, the company total sales will be 1 lakh rupees and the total cost it is 75,000. So we know the sales minus cost it is equal to the profit. The profit will be rupees 25,000. 25,000 rupees will be the profit of the company. In this level, the company makes a profit of rupees 25,000 in the first level. Then when the company increased their output to 40,000, the revenue and the cost will be increased by 40,000. So the incremental cost and incremental revenue are equal. So there will be no profit, no additional profit. Then if the company produces 50,000 units or increased it to the level of 50,000 output, 50,000 units, its revenue or its incremental revenue and cost it is 20,000 equal. 20,000 rupees of revenue and 20,000 rupees of cost also will be increased from the existing level. So that means cost and revenue or incremental cost and incremental revenue are equal here. So that means there will be no addition to the profit. So uh, it is not advised to increase the output to these levels as there will be no addition to the profit company can stick on the existing level of 25000 units because it will provide the profit of rupees 25000 okay thank you